How is 24-hour economy going to bring down the cost of electricity, the cost of transport, the cost of housing, the cost of food? Baumia has said, I'll bring down the cost of electricity by bringing on board 2,000 megawatts of solar power. It will mean putting up 5 million, uh, 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 what do you call it, the, the thing that receives the solar, the panels. Mm -hmm. It will mean, the, and we're going to set up a factory, we're going to send people to Germany and so on to train. We'll set up a factory here that will produce the panels. We'll install 5 million panels that will give us 2,000 megawatts of electricity. That will bring down the cost of electricity. For housing, he says, look, the major cost of housing is the land and the litigation that people you have to pay and then put in the utilities. Government will get the land banks all across the country and government to put in the roads and, the, uh, and so on. So you, the builder, you, the developer, you just have to go in and build. And that will increase the supply of housing and that will bring down the cost of housing. Mm. How's it going to bring down the cost of transport? He says, we're going to bring electric vehicles, buses, and give credit for people to now buy electric vehicles. So spare parts for engine is out. <laughs> cost of fuel is out because these are just batteries and that will bring down the cost of and i'm going to do bus lanes right in the in the rush hour you see people standing by the roadside looking for and the trotters and buses are stuck in traffic he says i'm going to bring bus lanes for the rush hour so the buses and the trotters can reach the people quickly the ndc has nothing mm. it's not me saying it All this right. is it